So the Cori is a robotic system that we utilize for our partial and total knee replacement surgeries. It's a handheld tool. It's not a robotic arm, but it's a surgical instrument that allows us to remove the minimal amount of bone we need to in order to properly place a partial or a total knee replacement. So unlike some other robotic systems, the Cori system does not require any preoperative imaging. So an MRI, a CAT scan, none of that is necessary. What we actually do is map the patient's anatomy at the time of surgery with a, a stylus, which is essentially like a pen or a pencil. We obtain the data for the patient's native anatomy, and this allows us to create a three-dimensional model of that particular patient's actual knee, and that allows us to precisely put in the knee replacement exactly how we want. This is the instrument that we utilize to remove the arthritic bone. There's a burr on the end and this rotates and this allows us to remove the diseased bone. There's a special cover that covers the end of the precision milling tool. It will not allow us to remove bone where we're not supposed to and that gives us an added level of safety and security. This hand piece has these arrays which is how the robotic system communicates with this handpiece. And so this allows us to be very precise in surgery. So I think with older manual total knee replacement techniques, many of those were excellent surgeries, but there were some outliers where there was, shall we say, suboptimal positioning of some of the components, because you're using metal rods and pins and jigs and older style type knee replacement techniques. With the quarry, we're able to precisely remove exactly the bone that we want and apply the cutting guide such that we're removing the bone in exactly the way that we want and we're confirming it with the robotic system at the time of surgery. So using the quarry robotic system, I'm implanting the Smith & Nephew Journey 2 BCS knee implant. This particular implant is an excellent choice for patients because unlike other competitive implants, the Journey 2 BCS is an implant that tries to attempt to match the patient's native anatomy as best as possible. Through uh, several different technical things about the design of the implant, including a physiologic joint line and asymmetric condyles, an asymmetric tibial base plate, all of these technical considerations uh, allow the implant to be perfectly matched to the patient's native anatomy as best as possible. The other major advantage to robotic surgery is we are getting real-time data with respect to the patient's native ligament tension. One of the most important things in knee replacement is getting the patient a nice balanced knee that goes all the way straight, it bends or flexes well, and the outside or collateral ligaments are nice and stable and secure through the entire range of motion. And by obtaining data with respect to the patient's native ligament tension, that actually allows us to balance their knee robotically on the screen prior to resecting any bone. And this really helps in terms of ensuring that we're going to have an excellent outcome once the actual knee replacement is implanted and it really adds a lot to the procedure.